My name is AJ Grant Scrutton and I am the CEO of Delala. My name is Craig Thomas. Can I do that again, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did spot. You were doing the intro. You were doing it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're looking at Loudon. Okay, you're looking at Loudon. My name is Ben. My job is officially lead programmer. I'm Loudon and I am the designer for Delala Studios. Uh, my name is uh, Chris Rickett and I am a coder at Delala. I work for Delala because quite frankly they're the only ones that will have me. That's not true. I joined Delala because of their very liberal policies on personal hygiene. I started working for Delala um, back on our first project, Jangsi. I replied to a Facebook request for a programmer. And I'd just come out of uni, uh, did a course in games programming, so I replied and started work for them then. Why did we start Delala? Um, hmm, hmm, okay, I guess from my perspective it was a couple of things really. Um, I'd been in the games industry about four years by the time we started Delala. And I got to a point in my career where I wasn't making games that I truly loved anymore. I wasn't making games that I'd necessarily be going out of my way to play and that you know I wanted to brag about to everyone. And that was really important for me. Overall is brilliant. Overall is something we haven't seen before. Overall embraces the nature of multiplayer games right now, which essentially is being a dick to each other. And it's something that's kind of unavoidable in games. Well, a lot of games these days, and we've sort of taken that and made it into a gameplay mechanic where people can actually enjoy how much of a dick they're being to each other and have kind of a laugh about it in a sort of competitive and fun kind of way, which I really like. I like the fact that um, the tides are always changing. Uh, you never know who's on top, who's on the bottom. It's 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 constantly evolving, and um, someone can go from first place to last place in a matter of seconds, and I really like that. You know, we always hoped we'd get to that moment where we're making a game and we find that we're spending more time playing it and then we have to kick ourselves out of it and get yeah. back to work. And I think we've kind of got that really, haven't we? That happened really quickly with Overall, actually. We've worked on a few projects before that we've sort of spent some time playing, but this one in particular happened really, really quickly. Quite early on in the process, we jumped straight in. Three words to sum up Overall. Um, frantic, fast, and... I've used the word trolling to describe it. Um, I don't know if that's a word, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to it. Ridiculous trolling with friends. That's four words, but with is kind of a little one. I think that's all right. Uh, frantic. Uh, you do one. I don't want to say fun. That's too much for a podcast. Say so fun. You just did it. Say so fun. And then we need one more. Okay, go, go. Penis. <laughs> what do I love about the games industry? Um, it's probably the fact that you never know what the day is going to bring. You you kind of have an end goal, but you never really reach it. You reach close to it. Sometimes better, sometimes worse. But I like the fact that you, there's always a mystery to the day. Uh, I enjoy that. What I do love about the games industry is it does still have tons of creativity. Um, like any industry, uh, any industry, like creative industry, there's always going to be new stuff. And it just so happens it's coming from the little guys, the indie guys. Uh, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like it. There is no other industry which embodies passion as spot on as this industry. I mean, don't get me wrong, film and music and art do a very close job, but for me, Games is raw emotion and it can, you know, bring out raw emotion in someone. Um, you know, some of my favourite memories in media in the last kind of 10 to 20 years have all been through games. And the fact that, that it's an interactive media on top of yeah. that just means it's, it's it's just beautiful, it's just perfect. Yeah, completely agree. Um, it's an absolutely incredible way to do so many things. Telling stories, for example, in so many different ways. And if you want to tell a story that's sad, you can do that. If you want to tell a story that's funny and humorous, you can do that. And you can immerse players in that experience at the same time and it is really really nice you're not just communicating at someone it's definitely it goes both ways it's an interactive kind of telling of something and I think that's what I absolutely love about this art form a lot of funny stuff's happened at Delala 
One of my favourite moments could potentially be Loudon's leaving from Lyft. So Loudon left Lyft to go snowboarding a bit earlier than everyone else. And we had a big thing and we were basically like all pretending to cry and we played some music and he did the whole uh, Bruce Banner leaving. And um, basically he left and a few minutes later he comes back and we're just like, Loudon, what are you doing? He's like, I forgot my stuff. <laughs> And also we put a butt plug in his boot. My favourite Delala moment. Um, having a sex toy smuggled into my luggage that I took through customs. No, not that. <laughs> my favourite Delala memory has got to be when we went to a Nottingham Games Festival. Where we got to see um, people playing Janksy for the first time. Like the general public playing Janksy for the first time. And it was the first time that we'd met up with a lot of the, the people that had worked on it. Um, so that was really nice just seeing how, how it was received by the general public. Um, my favourite Delala moment, <sighs> you know, in the our oh, two years there's been loads. Um, couple of highlights for me, uh, Develop Awards. Yeah, no, um, no. you know, being nominated was fantastic, but the best thing for me was all of us going, yeah. the whole team at Delala, suited and booted, going in there together. You know, it was just fantastic. And a big thing really is that you know there's not many. You don't see a lot of full studios going, they usually send representatives, so for us to be in a position where we're able to take the whole team was just awesome for us. Um, you know, and another one was when I was on holiday in Canada and then ringing home just to check in with the guys, make sure everything's okay, and then finding out we'd made the top 100 UK developers list. That was awesome. You know, I was having a great time on holiday, but I just made it, it made everything 10 times better. Yeah, for sure. The, the, it's seems like a lot of our top moments have been developed actually and this isn't supposed to be some kind of campaign to talk about how great they are um, the first time when we found out we were going to be front cover on developers was, was a pretty yeah, big deal awesome. um, I still though remember <laughs> looking on the develop website to see who was actually nominated for the, for the developer awards just because I wanted to see if there was anybody on there that we knew and seeing our name on there didn't feel right like I wasn't sure at first I had to actually google it to make sure I hadn't misread something that for me was a, a pretty big stand up moment there are so many things that I don't think I can nail it down to one thing. So no, not doing it. It happened very recently actually. Um, we announced Overruled and uh, we started hearing about uh, a lot of websites and uh, fan sites and stuff that have actually reviewed our game in quite a positive way. Just like just the announced trailer and like what I'm being excited about what we're making um, and the fact that it wasn't from people that we've actually met before. Um, just being completely anonymous people that we have never sort of had any real interactions with have sniffed out our announcement and got excited about it and just the fact that wow this is something that people are really enthusiastic about I'm really looking forward to this this what I'm most looking forward to is having a game my own game out there people playing it and it giving me good feedback and money bitches well this year I mean it feels like there are so many things again. We've got Res coming up soon. I'm really, really excited about that. I mean, we've obviously just announced Overall, and that's a pretty big deal. But to actually see people playing that for the first time is going to be exciting, terrifying, but brilliant all together at the same time. Probably Res. Yeah, Res is definitely up there for me. Um, and getting the game out, um, seeing the game on a recognised platform is going to yeah. be massive. Uh, probably incredibly overwhelming. But, you know, uh, yeah, I can't wait.